Today we're going to learn about estimating products. In the last lesson, you learned how to do multiplication sentences that look like this, where you're multiplying a single digit by a multiple of 10. Let's take a look at these two review problems. 3 times 500 is 1,500. Because I know that 3 times 5 is 15, and 500 is 100 times greater than 5. So my answer, or my product, would be 100 times greater than 3 times 5. The next problem, 4 times 60, I would use the basic fact 4 times 6 to help me with that answer. And 4 times 6 is 24. So I know that 4 times 60 is 240. We're going to use that to help us today estimate products. Let's take a look at our first equation, 3 times 679. We want to make the problem easier so we can use mental math to solve it. I'm not going to change my single digit because I know how to multiply numbers by 3. Let's write this in our notebook and then rewrite the equation with an estimate. My three will stay the same, but my second factor is the number I'm going to round to estimate. Since it's in the hundreds, I want to round to the nearest hundred. So I look at my hundreds place and the place behind it, and I know that 679 is going to round up to 700. That makes my new equation 3 times 700, which I can easily do in my head because I use the basic fact of 3 times 7. My answer will be 2,100. Let's try another one. 2,588 times 6. Again, my single digit's going to stay the same because I'm, I know how to multiply by six. My top number is 2,588 and I want to round to the nearest thousand. I know that 2,588 is closer to 3,000 than it is to 2,000. So my new equation is 3,000 times six. I will use my basic fact of three times six which is 18, and then I know my answer is a thousand times greater than 18, making my answer 18,000. And I can double check that because I had three zeros in my factors, and I have three zeros in my product. How about nine times 821? We know my nine is going to stay the same I'm going to round to the nearest 100, and I know that 821 is much closer to 800 than it is to 900. So my estimated problem will be 9 times 800. I know that 9 times 8 is 72, but I have two zeros, making my answer 7,200. Let's try one more together, and then I'll have you try some on your own. 4,730 times 5. Think about what would 4,730 round to. And I know it's closer to 5,000 than it is to 4,000 because of the 700. I will keep my second factor the same. And when I multiply 5,000 times 5, that will give me 25,000. It's the same as saying 5,000 plus 5,000 five times. Okay, let's try a few on our own. Copy these down into your notebook, solve them by rounding to the highest place, and then play the video again to check your answers. You should have 3 times 500 for your first problem. 
two times 7,000 for your next, and 3,000 times six for your last. And here are your final products. Great job.